Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm gonna give you five quick tips to improve the speed and spin on your serve. And they are turn, toss, salute, spin, X. All right, let's talk about the first one, turn. When you begin the serve, and I want you to imagine you are my opponent, so I'm serving to you. When you begin the serve with the racket touching the ball, I want you to turn and show the back of your front shoulder to your opponent. By turning and coiling, we're gonna be able to unturn or uncoil into that serve, and we're gonna use up the stored energy in our body to unleash the racket into the ball. So don't just face forward on your serve. When you begin, turn your front shoulder to the opponent. All right, toss. I'm serving this way now, so the baseline is here. One of the benefits of doing that turn initially is it helps bring the ball behind your tossing shoulder. You know, one of the mistakes I see with players all the time is they toss the ball, but since our arm is a radius, when they toss the ball, the ball goes this way, and the ball goes behind them. So try taking the ball when you coil back with the racket. Now the, the ball is behind the tossing shoulder, so now you naturally will toss into the court. So it's turn, toss. You can see the ball rainbow forward. Now I'm going to be able to lean in, have a great power line on my serve, and I can really crush it. And when I crush it, the ball actually goes in. If you toss up or back behind you and you lean in, now the ball's actually behind you and the ball's going to go out, which is one of the reasons, one of the reasons why when players hit really fast serves, the ball tends to go out. It's because they don't toss forward, so when they hit that really fast serve, the angle of attack into the box actually makes sense. So learning that toss forward into the court, huge improvement instantly. All right, salute, and I'm talking about like in the military, right? You're making this move with your palm facing down. This is the idea, and I'll wear a birthday hat right here. This is the idea of knocking off a birthday hat. If you're someone who goes into that waiter's tray position where you serve and you immediately get into this position, what you wanna learn is this palm down position. You could think of it as put a ball in the throat of the racket and hit, hit the, the party hat off. You could just think of it as saluting. You can wear a birthday hat, and by the way, when you wear a birthday hat, wear it in the front like it is a unicorn horn. If you wear it back here and then you go like this, of course there's no party hat to hit. You have to wear it like a unicorn horn so that when you look up, there's a birthday hat to actually hit. So wear it in the front. But when you turn, then toss, and then salute, and you're making this move, it creates a circular swing, 360 degrees of movement when your elbow comes forward, and the amount of racket speed that you'll get is insane. Now, as long as you have a continental grip, when you do this, your racket will come around on edge. One of the benefits of having a Topspin Pro, and I got one right here, is when you have a Topspin Pro, you can kind of deconstruct it and get a great tool that's gonna help you for practicing serves, specifically spin serves, whether slice or Topspin. So I'm just gonna break off the arm here, and you'll see, by the way, my link is in the description below, and pinned in the first comment. When I hit the ball, my goal is to get the ball to rotate. So you can see the ball rotating here, right? So when you hit a tennis ball, don't think of it as there's a nail in the wall and I'm gonna bash the, the nail with my hammer. That's not what you wanna think. We are going to spin the ball from left to right. And as we're doing that, we are pronating. Where the strings, because we came in over our head with the strings facing down, because we're coming around with our racket on edge, or actually slightly closed at this point, as I go up to the ball, I'm gonna be leading with the edge of the racket. That is a supinated position, and then I'm going to pronate as I hit the ball. But as I go up and I pronate, I spin the ball, and then the pronation continues after I hit. The pronation is constant. It just so happens that when I hit the ball, the right edge of the racket is ever so slightly in front. So that means I'm still spinning the ball, and you can see the ball spinning. I spin, and the pronation continues. Many uh, people in the comments, by the way, in, in whether email or direct message, they message me saying, why does pronation matter? It's happening after you hit the ball. That's kind of like saying, why follow through on a golf swing? The ball's already, go the ball's gone, it doesn't know. It's a continuation of the movement. While you're going up and you're turning, you continue to turn. This is just the fastest way to move your hand. I mean, if you slam your fingers in a drawer, you go, ow, right? You go, oh my gosh, I hurt myself. Why don't we go like this? Ow, I hurt myself. 
Why don't we do, like if somebody said, ow, I hurt myself, you'd be like, are you okay? Like, I don't think your fingers in your hand is your only problem. Like, what are you doing, like doing this? It's this, right? This is the fastest way. When we throw a football, we throw a baseball, whatever it is, this is the fastest way to move our hands. So as we're going up to the ball and we make this movement, all of this energy that we stored from the coil to tossing in, the circular swing, now culminates into this pronation of the forearm. Well, we wanna make sure that we're adding spin while we do that, getting the ball to rotate like the earth. That's gonna allow us to control the ball as we're hitting. And last is an X. When you watch Rafael Nadal, he's really the best on tour when it comes to showing the X. When you hit a serve, and just look at Rafa when he's done hitting a serve, his arms are crossed. When you hit a serve, what you do not want is for your body to rotate. You don't want your body rotating as you hit. What you want your body to do is coil, and then you begin uncoiling, but then you pull this arm in against your body. That keeps your body sideways. It's a reactive break, and you hit a much faster serve. I should say it this way you can swing your arm much faster. And whether you allocate that, that arm speed into hitting a flat serve, hitting a topspin serve, hitting a slice serve is up to you, but we're gaining racket speed with a reactive break. So when you turn, toss, salute, spin, and then cross your arms where you actually keep your chest still sideways. So I coil, and then when I'm done, I'm still sideways to my target. I'm not facing my target when I'm done. It actually is a reactive break that helps accelerate my hitting arm. So go out and film yourself. See if you have the turn, toss, salute, spin, and X, the way you just learned in this video. And there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. Come on, you know the finish, let's go. You got this.